<laughs> hey guys, Jason Stewart here. You are watching Cooked. My favorite snack food of all time is chips and guac. A lot of times when you eat chips and guac at a restaurant, it can be a little mushy, a little weird, not exactly how you want it to be. I'm gonna show you right now how to make it at home. It goes great with a beer. A little weekend kickback, watching the game, whatever it might be. First of all, the biggest part about making a perfect guacamole is getting the perfect avocado. You want it to be a nice mushiness, still bright green, bright yellow, no browning around it. When you pick it up, you want it to be nice and soft without being too hollow and mushy. If it's too hard when you first buy it, take it home, put it in a brown paper bag for a couple days until it gets exactly how you want it to be. I've cut it in half, I've scored it with a knife into little chunks. Get a nice big spoon and it should be able to pop out in one big scoop, and just like that. Number two. Now avocado has a tendency to turn brown very quickly, oxidizing it. So what I like to do is hit it with a little citrus, lime juice or lemon juice. It's a big part of guacamole, but this should go in first. Squeeze some lemon right on there and you wanna make sure you have a lot of it in there. So from here, we've got our citrus, we've got our avocado, it's all chopped up. We've got tomato. I use Aroma Tomato, they're cheap. They work really well, they hold up nicely when you're doing a fine chop. All the ingredients should be the same size. Finely diced, we've got some jalapeno the same way. I left a few seeds in for some heat, you don't have to do that. You can make it as hot or as mild as you want to. We've got our red onion. Very finely diced. We have garlic, one clove. What I've done is basically chopped it up into a very fine paste. This helps it to incorporate into the guacamole much better. I've got some chopped fresh cilantro, and then I had some green onion lying around, so I'm gonna put some of that in as well. The biggest thing that people mess up with guacamole is under seasoning. You need a lot of salt on there to really make these flavors sing. So don't be shy with the salt. A lot of fresh cracked pepper goes in there as well. And at this point, you are good to go. So you just wanna get in here with a nice big spoon, stir it up, but making sure to leave some of the avocado in nice little chunks. We're basically done. The main thing you wanna do with guacamole is let it sit for about 15 minutes for all those flavors to meld. Take a little bite without a chip to test for seasoning. With the chip, you won't be able to get a full read on it. Zingy! If you wanna make a nice presentation, right on top, some whole cilantro leaves, and I like to put those right on top. And that'll make it look nice and fresh and green and inviting. At this point, our guacamole is done, ready to chip it up. Um, if you are into a weird little twist on the guac, I found out adding blue cheese to it adds a really interesting flavor to it that a lot of people really seem to love. So you can just get some crumbled blue cheese. A little bit goes a long way. Sprinkle a little bit in there and stir it up just as if it was one of the other ingredients. And it makes a very interesting tangy flavor that not everyone loves, but if you're a fan of blue cheese, it's it's actually really dope. Impress your friends with the new blue guac. Keep it regular and traditional with the regular one. And enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Have a cold brewski. My name is Jason Stewart. This is Cooked. See you next time.